intraoperative incidental finding of a ventricular septal defect in a 67-year-old female scheduled for elective coronary artery bypass surgery. Transgastric view of the left ventricle with normal function and some left ventricular hypertrophy noted. Four chamber view, systolic anterior motion of the mitral valve noted. The yellow circle denotates the area of the membranous portion of the ventricular septal area. Note the mild systolic anterior motion of the mitral valve. The patient had normal ventricular function, view of the right ventricle, and some mild tricuspid regurgitation is noted. Short axis view of the aortic valve demonstrates some restriction in opening between the left coronary cusp and right coronary cusp, as well as some lack of coaptation between the three leaflets. Planimetry of the aortic valve was done with an area of 2.04 centimeters square measured. Color Doppler demonstrates some aortic insufficiency as well as some color in the right ventricular outflow tract noted. Color in the right ventricular outflow tract was abnormal. Pressure gradient done through the tricuspid valve demonstrating a right ventricular systolic pressure of 28 millimeters of mercury. View of the aortic valve and subaortic valve area, demonstrating color Doppler right ventricular outflow tract image, as well as the aortic insufficiency in red. Noted below the aortic valve, a jet in yellow circle of uh, the ventricular septal defect, uh, left to right shunt. The yellow arrow denotates the area of the defect as well. Continuous Doppler done through the defect demonstrated a peak gradient of 113 millimeters of mercury, a very restrictive defect. Zoom view of the ventricular septal defect, and then 3D imaging with uh, long axis of the left ventricular outflow tract on the left and short axis on the right demonstrating this subvalvular defect. Color Doppler clearly demonstrates the defect. Three D view of the defect. Yellow arrow demonstrates the area of the ventricular septal defect. The three D image it's then tilted to show the defect in a top to bottom view from the left ventricular outflow tract. Also noted the aortic insufficiency at top. Using 3D features, a long and short axis trace of the defect was done with an area of 0 0.1 centimeters square and a long and short diameters of three and four millimeters. Once the aorta was open and the aortic valve leaflets retracted, the defect could be seen in the left ventricular outflow tract. The yellow arrows demonstrate the leaflet of the aortic valve, the tips of the leaflet. The blue arrow demonstrates the ventricular septal defect in the left ventricular outflow tract. Zoom view and deeper view into the left ventricular outflow tract. And then a yellow circle circling the area of the ventricular septal defect. The patient underwent a successful coronary artery bypass grafting and a patch closure of the ventricular septal defect. See the left ventricular function post pump, long axis view of the left ventricular flow tract with no residual color through the area of the left ventricular flow tract and aortic insufficiency as preoperatively. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed the video.